Lucas here, and today we're going to be playing some Clash Royale. Well, we're not going to be playing, but I'm going to be showing you the best deck, and I mean the best deck I have ever used in this game. This deck got me all the way to Arena 4 after I've already dropped from 1,000 trophies to 873, because you remember in my last video, I lost three games in a row. Well, when I tried playing, I lost some more. So when I found this deck, I actually kept winning a lot more. So first we're going to show you the deck, and I'm actually going to show you some gameplay of me actually using the deck. Like I did in my top 3 deck vids. This is the deck right here, it's pretty much <coughs> a baby dragon with pretty much straight minions. And I also, if you've seen this deck before, you probably have. I actually just seen it, and I got it, and I uh, added a rage spell and a goblin barrel to it, so I found them very useful. So now I'm actually going to show you some live gameplay and me using the deck. See, as you can see, I actually win and lose games. I win way more than I lose. This was before I had the deck. I would get a bit more losses and I did not like that. I had arrows on first before I started using fireballs, but I found out fireballs are way useful. Okay, I'm going to show you the first replay right here. This is pretty much the main strategy with the deck. What I do is I don't wait for a guy to like actually make their first turn. I go first with a always throw a goblin bell first if I have one. I never wait. Cause then they have to wait. They are, they have to waste I'm sorry, I think This battle was actually pretty hard because you had to turn the tower up. Pretty slow battle. Let me speed it up. So I was pretty much working for my cards getting in my way 24 7. So yeah. Put on my baby dragon. And uh, the baron. Still trying to push that right tower. I actually found out how bomb skeletons are actually really useful. I don't know if that's really what they call, but I call them bomb skeletons. It uh, took me a while to get that right tower down, but I found out that I'm going to get it down and the tower wasn't really there. Still pushing, still pushing. I think I won this by time, yet I completely won that by time, it was kind of a clutch. Okay, I'm going to show you the second replay right here. Wait, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. See, I did not wait. I want to make a move, I make the first move. If I had a witch, that would be a different story. I feel like with witches, they would be a lot of a much more gradual without the witches. I've tried using them with tombstone, goblin, hook, and I'm doing a little bit of power. Okay, I got that right tower down. I'm trying to send off my right tower for the longest. They can't really do anything here. They 
Mage spells are actually really OP. And that's one of the maps. <coughs> I'm going to show you guys another replay. So this time I'm going to get the start of the situation here. They're not going to go down there at the start. I don't see what he was trying to do with those team things, but he was trying to do a pretty much a rush, but that didn't work. The only trip I actually, the only card I actually want in this game is a test lot because I'm pretty sure I have a really good deck composition for it. It's a cheap deck composition, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. This one, uh, this match right here actually took a while to get that left tower down. All the bottom barrels I threw kind of got destroyed. This one got destroyed. Some pretty sure actually got through it. <clears throat> and every time you threw a goblin barrel at my main tower, I'd always put a bomb spell somewhere. And she got the bomb right there in my last goblin barrel throw. Let me show you guys one last replay, and it's gonna be the end of this video. This is when I actually got into Arena 4. <clears throat> to show you that it was still good in Arena 4. Those cannons weren't much of a problem because I have my bomb skeleton. I'm speed it up. I let my dragon take out a tower and start going for the right one. I'm not much of a defensive player. I rush a lot. I do not like to stay back. I like to take down my towers as fast as I can. When I see that there's no way I'm going to take down that tower, then that's a problem. I think this was actually a, the hardest part of this match. There's that goblin hut. I mean, not goblin hut, but brain. Like, I let my main tower and my tower take out a dragon and I push up. This is very aggressively. And I think that this is right here. This is where I take the win. So yeah guys, this is pretty much the best deck I use in Class Royale. I really enjoy using this deck. This will get you guys a lot of wins if you use it the right way. If you don't see that if you don't see that like it's actually working well for you. You can always change it up or anything like that. Also, guys, my clan, we have actually grown a lot. And if you guys all want to join, we have a few spots left. We might start kicking a few members because of how low the trophies are and they're inactive. Right now, you just need 800 and up trophies to join. So, yeah, you can join anytime you want. So, yeah, this is the end, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.